What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. If you ever been in front of your computer and you've thought, how do I get better dynamic range? How do I get better color? It's just too bright, it doesn't look good. How can I get better video for my videos? The thing is, you need better dynamic range. You need more dynamic range. And I'm here to show you guys, I'm here to tell you that that is possible and you can spend less than $70 getting better dynamic range. And it's inside this little pouch. The contents of this little pouch will save your video It'll give you even more dynamic range. Stick around, because we're gonna learn about neutral density filters. And with that being said, let's roll that intro, bro. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how we can make our videos look even better and have even more dynamic range to look more cinematic. Are you ready? Here we go. Did you see that? Let me do that once more. Are you ready? Here we go. Are you ready? Look really closely to all the white around me. Look at my face. Look at my skin tone. Just look at how it just all goes very, very white. That is what an ND filter can do. This is without the ND filter. Right now I'm at ISO 100 because we're outside in daylight. We're at 2.8 because I like 2.8. And we're at 200 shutter speed. ND filter on, off, on, off. Y you get it. It absorbs ultraviolet light and protect lens. Reduce haze and blue cast in landscapes. Minimize reflections and glare. Enhance color and tonal saturation. Shot glass 12 layer multi coating. Anodized aluminum filter rings. UV filter feature slim profile ring. Includes padded filter pouch. Padded filter pouch. So that is essentially a fancy way to say I'm a good polarized sunglasses, put me on your camera, and boom. And that, that's what it is. So essentially what an ND filter does is think about it this way. Think about it like you're out in the sun on a hot summer day. Boy, am I wishing that I could just be on a beach because it's so cold and it's snowing here. And in order to get those sun rays out of your eye, out of your face, your Ray-Bans or whatever, you use sunglasses. And that's what an ND filter is. It's just sunglasses for your video, even more dynamic range. Without this ND filter, you would not be able to see my perfect brown skin tone tan color. A lot of blown out picture like what you saw before. There are so many different types of ND filters ranging from like hundreds of dollars to something like this. I believe this is the Luminesque, let me see. This is, yes, this is the Luminesque uh, UV filter, and there's two of these. There's one that's darker, one that is a little lighter. The ND filter that I have on this camera right now is a Luminesque CPL 82 millimeter filter, I believe, and there's a lighter one in here, which is a UV filter. And so these are both used for very different things, but if you're outside kind of like this and it's all washed out and white, and there's too much sun, using something like this CPL filter that I have on this camera is gonna work wonders for you because it's gonna get, you're gonna get more information out of it. You're gonna get more stuff into the video that you want. That is what I mean by dynamic range, and that's what I mean by getting more cinematic shots, more cinematic film within your videos. This is my car, as you guys can, you probably, you know this car, it's gone through a lot. We've come, we've come a long way, we've gone through a lot of stuff. Now if I, to, if I were to take this filter off, that car is completely washed out. It looks like a, like a light blue and my skin tone doesn't look that great. Now yes, I'm at 200 shutter speed. What I have to do to compensate to get the look from this ND filter is to actually bump up that shutter speed. But I don't want to do that because I don't want that high shutter speed. I, j I just don't. So what I simply do is I just I put a lid on it. Get it? This is the lid. My ND filter is... Bad joke, I get it, I get it. Whatever. 
doing this with my left hand. It's not very, there it is. And, and just look, and now look at the car now. The blues just come out. It's a little, it's like a, like a darker blue versus that, that light blue. This ND filter allows you, it allows me to actually have lower shutter speed and kind of brings down a shade of sunglasses, if you will, over your footage. ND filters are the way to go. This specific pair I got at b &H, uh, for like 70 bucks, I believe. I will link that down in the description below for you guys to buy. This guy, 60, 70 bucks is worth it if you're gonna get video like this. Just, it just, I mean, look at this. The only thing of color in this area is literally myself, because of my skin, and this car. So, I mean, I mean, look at this, we look good. We look rich, we look creamy, we have that tone, that contrast is there, the saturation. I'm so glad I invested into, I mean, this is considered cheap ND filters. This is my first pair of ND filters. Then get the Luminesque from B&H Photo. Perfect, it's, it'll be perfect for your footage. All right, there you have it, guys. That is a quick rundown as to how you can get more dynamic range, better color in your videos, and just better footage, more cinematic-like footage overall in your videos go buy yourself an ND filter. And with that being said, thanks so much for watching and would you please do me these three things. Number one, would you please subscribe to the channel? I would love for you to subscribe. Number two, would you please click that little bell? It notifies you when I post a video that you could be the first one to watch it. And number three, would you please like this video because it'll bump me up more in the ranks of videos shared and videos recommended to you. So you know what to do. And again, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time on the John Q channel. Peace. Shh. <laughs>